Hello and welcome to Yoga with Katie. Today we're going to be doing a flow class. So let's start in a lie down position. So make your way to lie down on your yoga mat. Take your time. Bend both knees, your spine will automatically release. Keeping the natural curve in your lower back. And then by your side, palm facing down. All lying down poses with slightly tucking the chin in to protect your neck. Close your eyes for a moment. Taking a few calming breaths. Relax your face, your jaws, suck at your teeth. Know the tongue from the roof of your mouth. When you inhale, belly and chest rise at like noon. And when you exhale, draw the belly button back to your spine. Staying very calm, relaxed, and still in the present moment, in your own little world. Couple more breaths here. And we will slowly open up the eyes, wiggling your fingers and your toes. Gently turning your neck left and right. Bring your legs together, point your toes. Inhale your arms up and above the head. Full body stretch. Walking the hands and the feet over to one side. As a matter which side, inside foot on outside foot. Outside hand, grab hold the inside wrist. Entire body still on the mat, forming a banana shape. Feel the length in the side of your body. One more breath here. And we will slowly walk the hands and feet over to the other side, as far as you can go, forming a banana shape. Outside hand, grab a hold of the inside wrist, inside foot on outside ankle. Make sure you have a roll over. You're still on your mat. One more breath here. We're going to slowly, slowly release. Walking the hands and feet back to the center of the mat. And then by your side. Bend both knees. Wrap your arms around your knees. Knee to chest. Coming into a big circular motion, if you like. Covering a big area. Massage your lower back is sacred. Helping you to relieve back pain. When you're in the center position, go the other way. Reverse. Big, big circular motion. The side of the lower back and stick. From here, we're going to go into Happy Baby. Lift the feet up towards the sky. Open up the knee. Hands on the bottom of the feet. Press down so that the knees are close to the ankles. Feel free to close your eyes and listen to my verbal instruction. Rocking side to side. Massaging the entire spine, the entire back. Opening up the hip joint. Stretching the inner thighs. Open up your legs in the big knee. Grab hold of big toes or any part of the legs. Feel free to touch down on the floor if you have room. Continue to open up the hip joint. 
stretching out in the thighs. Slowly, slowly come back to center. Bring your legs together. Flex the feet. And then bring your side. Palm facing down. Feel free to close your eyes and listen to my verbal instruction. Let the blood circulate back to your heart. Helping you with circulation. Stretching your hamstrings. Energized body. Once you have your blood circulation, it's going to increase your immunity level, improve your digestion, and sleep quality. Now we're going to slide ahead through the upper leg. Grab all the big toes are in the palm of the legs. Tailbones automatically comes up. Continue to stretch hamstring. Make sure you're not carrying tension in your neck, shoulders, or upper back. One more breath in, and we will slowly release the head down. And then bring your side. Now we will scissor the legs. One time in front, one time behind. Nice and slow of control. Let's do another three. Two. And one. Slowly, slowly, come back to center. Take a breath here. And we're gonna do something like this. First round, lower that for seven. Six, five, four, three, Two, don't drop it when your legs are one feet off the ground. Bend both knees, lifting the legs back up to the sky. Take a breath here. Second round, over there for seven, six, five, four, three, two. Bend both knees, lifting the legs back up. Take a breath here. Last round, lower down for seven, six, five. Four, three, two, one, all the way down, back some few times. We releasing on the right side. Rub your hands around the right knee. Draw it close to the chest or armpits. Give it a good squeeze. As we massage organs on the right side, as well as ascending the coat. Anytime you feel bloated in the abdomen, constipate it. You can try when releasing and see if it's going to help you. And we're going to stay here for three, two, one. Right hand on right knee. Using a gentle circular motion, massaging the right hip joint. Five times one way, five times reverse. Slowly, slowly come back to center. From here, we're going to transition to the spine of this. Right foot on left thigh, opposite hand, opposite thigh. Slowly guide the tummy as close to the force as possible. Right arm on shoulder height, palm facing down. Turn a little bit of the right side of your neck and skin. Stretching all lower back muscles. Massage internal organs as well. 
When I exhale breath, so you can bring the top knee a little bit lower. We're going to stay here for three, two, one. Slowly, slowly bring everything back to the center. Straighten out the legs, back a few times. We're releasing on the other side. Rub your hands around the left knee. Draw it close to the chest or out here. Give it a good squeeze. Inhale, relax. Exhale, squeeze. Point the right toes up to the ceiling. Now we're massaging off in some of the left side of the body, as well as the extending forward. So the big colors go from right to left. So we always start out with the right leg. From here, we're going to transition into a spinal twist. Left foot on right side, opposite hand, opposite thigh. Slowly guide the top foot as close and forward as possible. Left foot on right shoulder, high contours in the Turn and look at the left side of your next foot. Feel free to extend the top leg. One more breath here. We just slowly, slowly bring everything back to the center. Straighten out the legs. Bounce it a few times. Bend both knees. And we're going to drop both knees to the right side. Raise your right arm. Roll over to the right side of the body. Coming into a fetus position. Making a pillow of the right tricep. Let your breath pressure get adjusted. And when you're ready, use your top arm to push yourself up. Coming into a comfortable seated position. Inhale your arms up above the head. Turn the palm up, exhale down. So deep, deep inhale through your nose and deep, deep exhale through your nose. Whenever you are Inhale to lengthen. Exhale to fold. One more. Inhale, turn long. Exhale, and down by your side. Stretching out the neck next. Near to your shoulder, extend the opposite arm out. Using the same hand guide or support the head. Lengthening, stretch, relieve any tension that you may have. And we're going to stay here for three, two, one. Slowly come back to center the other side. Near to your shoulder, extend the opposite arm out. Using the same hand guide or support the head. Stretch. If there's any stiffness in your neck, just stay here for a little bit longer. No need to rush. Slowly, slowly come back to center. Take an inhale, center, exhale, turn over the right shoulder. Only go to where you're comfortable. Inhale, center. Exhale to the left. Inhale, center. Chin up, 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 and then chin to chest. Both ways with stimulating thigh right thing. Breathe, toss everything. Exhale, the right arm bit. Slightly tuck the chin in. 45 degrees. Slowly cut up the center. And now we look at the other arm. 45 degree angle, looking down. Slowly, slowly, come back to center. Shoulder stretch, right arm up, and across. Pull back, creating resistance. 
chin is away from the body, looking forward. Slowly, slowly release. Same mama, lengthen, twins the palm behind your back. Use for the head to guide that. Tricep stretch. If you can bind your hands behind your back, go ahead, bind your hands behind your back. Slowly release. Shake it up. Again, it's fun. Palm up and across. Pull back. Creating the system here. Chin is away from the bottom, looking for me. Slowly release. Same mama, we'll lengthen first, place the palm behind your back. Use the other hand to guide out the tricep stretch. Chin up, looking forward. If you can bind your hands behind your back, go ahead, bind your hands behind your back. Don't worry if you're not able to do this. Slowly release, shake it up, hands on the shoulders, opposite, arms up. Inhale, long way, exhale, the other. Feel the pinch in short legs. Open up, long hard chest. Improving your posture. When you're in the center position, we're going to go into a full circle. Try to bring the arms close together, oiling the shoulder joints. And reverse. Slowly come back to center. We're going to inhale the arms up to lengthen. Exhale to bend. Bending the lower arm, top arm is pressing. Chin is away from the body. No kick up. Make sure both are the same down. We're not lifting one foot up. Inhale, center. Turn long, exhale to the other side. Bending the lower arm. Top arm is suppressing the knee. Looking up. Slowly, slowly come back to center the length. Exhale, twist. Opposite hand, opposite thigh. Slowly turn, overlooking your shoulder, looking at the back. Turning the neck as well. Over every exhale breath, see if you can turn a little bit more. Stretching on lower back muscles, massaging internal organs, helping you to digest and detox. Now we slowly bring the body back to center. Don't let go of the front hand. Inhale the other, forming a press, looking up. Slowly, slowly release the other side. Opposite hand, opposite thigh. The other arm rubbing over, bring it directly behind your spine. Keep turning, overlooking your shoulder, look at the back. Turning the neck as well. Using the front hand to turn a little bit more. Stretching our lower back on the other side. Massaging internal arms. Turning the neck as well. Now we're going to slowly, slowly bring everything back to center. Don't let go of the front hand, inhale the other arm up. Farming and pressing, looking up. Slowly, slowly release. Hands on the thighs. Sitting up nice and tall, and we're going to come to toss or turn. Starting our small circle. Slowly, doing a bigger, bigger toss or turn. Moving your shoulders as well. When you're in the center position, go the other way, reverse, touching off all corner of the space. Slowly, slowly, come back to center. Coming into a neutral tabletop. 
spread all your fingers. Wrists underneath the shoulder, knees underneath the hip, top of the feet on the mat. Neutral spine. When you're ready, we're going to go into cat and cow. Inhale, drop your belly. Chin up, look up into a cow. Exhale, ride the back as much as you can. Pull your belly tight. Looking back, down into a cat. So we're going to do this a few times. And your breath and your pace. Inhale one way. Exhale again. Connect your breath with your mood. Creating spaces between water rings. <coughs> one last one. Slowly, slowly come back to neutral, swaying side to side, release tension in your wrist. Coming into a big figure eight, staying the hip down onto the heel, swaying the hip up, exaggerate the movement. Big, big figure eight. Feel your spine moving. When you're at the top of the mat, go the other way. Reverse your finger in. Swing the hip out. So we're gonna slowly, slowly come back to center. Release, swing side to side. Coming into arm balance, right arm and left leg out, right thumb to the sky, back to stand. Reach and stretch, core strong, lengthening. Bring the arms and leg out to 45 degree or as far as you can go. Inhale, center, extend, exhale to open. One more. Inhale, center, extend, exhale to open. Slowly, slowly, come back. Neutral, tabletop. And we're gonna repeat on the other side. Left arm and right leg out, reach and stretch, lengthening. One straight line, one straight set up, arms and leg out to 45 degrees. Inhale, center, to lengthen. Exhale, to open. One more. Inhale, center, extend. Exhale to open. Slowly, slowly coming back to neutral. Swaying side to side. Bring in left leg outside the mat, tapping it side to side. Side body long. Five times all together. Once you're done, slowly, slowly release. Curve back to center. Swing side to side. And we're going to repeat on the other side. Bring the leg outside the mat. Tapping it side to side for five. Feel the leg in the side of your body. And slowly, slowly. Release. Swing side to side. Lifting the left leg up, pulsing it up and down. Squeeze your butt in tight. Firming up the glutes. Let's do another three, two, and one. Slowly, slowly release. Sway side to side. Bring the right leg up, passing it up and down here. Small little kick. Squeeze your butt in tight. 
Let's do another three. Two. And one, slowly, slowly release. Sway side to side. Getting ready to come up. So we're doing that now. Spread all your fingers, tap your toes. Lift your hips high, high up. Coming into a down dog. Medium part of your palm, the bridge of your hands, as well as all ten fingertips on your mat. Now we're going to walk the dog out by alternating, bending your knees. Release the head down. Inhale to come up on your tippy toes. Stretching on the toes. Exhale to lower the heel back down. One more inhale up on toes. Exhale down. Slowly walk forward towards the hands. And now you're in the forward end. All ten toes facing the front, legs are in width. If you can touch the mat, touch the mat. If you cannot touch the mat, hold on to opposite elbows or behind the legs. Hip bones above ankle bones, dangle here for a little bit. Lengthening the spine, stretching our lower back muscles. Let the blood go the other way for a moment. Just be mindful that head is below half. So if you don't feel good about this, you need to slowly come out of it. One more breath. We will get ready to come up. Hands on waist for support. Inhale halfway up to a flat line. Exhale to slowly rise up. One foot break at a time. Once you come all the way up, back bend to counter. Interlace the finger behind. Knuckles down and away from you. Lifting chin up and head back. Now pushing the hips forward. Shoulders and hips are level. Chin is away from the body, looking up. Feel the pinch your shoulder blades. Opening up lung, heart, chest. Stimulating thyroid gland by lifting chin up and head back. And slowly, slowly release. Shake it out. And we're going to come to our sun salutation. So top of your mat, back toes to touch, align the edge of your feet to the edge of your mat. So listen to your body always to avoid injuries. Inhale your arms up, back bend. Exhale, forward bend. Inhale halfway up to a flat back, hands on shin, eyes looking forward. Exhale, hands on back, stepping back into a plank, shifting the way forward. Beginners can drop to your knees, tap your elbow by your side to come down. Inhale, cobra or up dog. Shoulders relax, eyes looking up. Exhale, you can fall back on your knees, tap your toes, lift your hips high, high up. Coming into a down dog. We stay here for five breaths. Spread all your fingers. Bend our index when you're facing forward. Step in your feet. Two fists apart. Not too wide, not too narrow. Hip width. Align your knees by your inner arms. Eyes looking at toes. Now we look between the hands. Step or hop to the top of the mat. Inhale, halfway up to flat back. Exhale, forward bend. Slightly bend the knees. Inhale, your arms all the way up. Back bend. And then I'm down by your side. Into mountain pose. Turn strong in mountain. Continue. Inhale, your arms up. Over salute. Back bend. Exhale, forward bend. Inhale, halfway up to flat back. Exhale, hands on that. Stepping back into a plank. Shifting the way forward. Chaturanga is all one breath. Elbows lower than the shoulders. Inhale, cobra, up dog. Exhale, to down dog. 
Lifting the hips high, high up, pushing the mat away, release the head down. Shoulders are external rotation, elbows are internal rotation, eye up the elbow facing each other. Coming into wall we one on the right side. Inhale, right foot forward towards the right hand, left foot at 45, square the hip turf up, arms up, holding onto your ball, palm facing each other, pinky slightly curved in, shoulders are relaxed, eyes looking up. Front knees 90 degrees on top of the ankle, between second and third toe. Back leg straight. Now we're going to come to eagle arm, right on the left. Big, big hug. Love yourself. Those who can lock the elbows, grab hold of the thumb. Coming into eagle arm, slide back bend if you can. One more breath here, we slowly release. Open up into a warrior two. Widen your stand. Arms parallel to the floor. Palm facing down. Turn and look at the front fingers. Evenly distribute your weight between the two legs. Not shifting forward. Coming into a standard side. Right arm resting on right back. Left arm up. Reach and stretch. Open up the top hand. Look at the top thumb. Now, when you're ready, we're going to do a circular motion with the upper arm. Know your range of motion. So, we're going to do it five times. Not putting a whole lot of weight on the front thigh. Work your legs. Now on the last one, we're going to come into an extension. One straight line from your baby finger to the back here. Open up the body, looking up. Feel the leg in the left side of the body. One more breath, and we'll come to a, a reverse warrior. Flipping the right arm up, left hand down, the left back. Top arm is suppressing, looking up. Feel the stretch in the right side of the body. And we'll do a flow here as well. Inhale, extend the side angle. Reach and stretch on the left side. Exhale to reverse. Stretching out the right side. One more. Slowly, slowly release. Coming into a triangle, I'm so in T. Shift to front of the room. Both legs are straight. I'm going to wave me the arms. Bottom arm, six o'clock. Top arm, 12 o'clock. Shoulders stack on top of each other. Looking up. If you can straighten out the front leg, you can lock the front knee. Slowly, slowly. Release. Pivot your feet. And we're going to come to a goddess. So your legs are about three feet apart. Toes up on the up. Arms up. By your chest. Palm facing forward. Inhale up. Exhale sink. Slightly tuck the tables in. To pull back your back. Don't push the knee beyond the toes. Let's do another three, two, one. Slowly, slowly rise up. Come down by your side. We're going to repeat everything on the other side. So we're going to just pivot. So now we have left leg forward, right leg back at 45. Square the hip to the front. When you're ready, arms up. We're going to come to a warrior one. Arm facing each other, 
Pinky slightly crooked. Shoulders are relaxed. Eyes are clear. Front knee is still 90 degree at her ankle. Back leg is straight. One more breath here. We're going to go into eagle arm. Left on the right, leg the cut, left yourself. You can stay here. If you can lock the elbows, grab a hold of the thumb. You end up with the thumb facing the nose. Lift the elbows up and away from the body, form an L shape. Slight back bend if you can. Slowly release. I'm so in key. Shoulder height. We're going to open up into a warrior two. Wide in your stand if necessary. Strong arms. If I was to come and press on you, you should be able to resist me. Once you're set up, turn and look at the front fingers. Evenly distribute your weight between the two legs. And now we'll come to extend this angle. Left arm will rest on the left thigh, right arm up. Open up the body, looking up, not putting a whole lot of weight on the front thigh. When you're ready, we're going to slowly wiggle the top arm five times at your own breath and your own pace. Know your range of motion. Right side might be different from the left side, so that's perfectly normal. On the last one, we're just going to come to an extension. Top palm facing down, lengthening the right side of your body, looking up. Coming into reverse warrior, flipping the left arm up, bring it down the right thigh. Top arm is suppressing in. Feel the length in the left side of your body. This is a side bend. Not a back bend. When you're ready, we're going to inhale the extended side angle, reach and stretch on the right side, exhale to reverse, stretching out the left side. We're going to do it all together three times. Reach and stretch, coming into reverse. One last one. Reach and stretch, and coming into reverse. Slowly, slowly release. And we're going to shorten our stand. Swaying the hip up. I'm so in T. Shift to the front. When you can't go anymore, we're going to win the arms. Bottom arm, six o'clock. Top arm, 12 o'clock. Stacking the shoulders on top of each other. Looking up. If you can straighten out the front leg, you can lock the front knee. One more breath in. Slowly, slowly rise up. I'm going to pivot the feet. Use the length of our mat. So three feet apart, toes up, we need it in. We're going to go down and do a wide leg forward bend. Take an inhale first. Exhale, hinge in from the hips. Leading with the chest. When your back is parallel to the floor, you can release the hands down. Lining up the fingers with the toes, bending the elbows towards the back of the room. Release the head down. Inhale to lengthen, exhale to fold. Inhale to lengthen the spine, come into a flat arm. Exhale to fold. One more time. Inhale, come to a flat back. Exhale to fold. We're going to slowly walk the right hand over to the left foot, opposite hand, opposite foot, the other arm up, looking up. Slowly, slowly release the top hand, walking the hands over to the other side. Opposite hand, opposite ankle, the other arm up, looking up.
One more breath in, slowly release the top hand. Walking the hands over to the center of the mat. Getting ready to come up. Inhale to a flat back. Hands on weights for support. Exhale to slowly, slowly rise up to standing. Heel toe, heel toe, bring the legs together. And we're going to come to a chair pose. Legs are half apart, all 10 toes facing the front. Inhale, arms up, sit in your chair. Bars to high first. Waist in your heel, you should bring your toes, wiggle your toes. Inhale, up, exhale, same here. Slightly tuck the tables in, put out the back. Don't push the knee beyond the toes. Every time you come down, see if you can come a little bit lower. And we'll do another three, two, one, power out with your strong legs, back bend, and then I'm down by the side. Into mountain pose. Make a fist. Inhale, shoulders up to reduce. Make it tight, tight, tight. Ah, sign it out to release. Again, inhale, shoulders up, creating a lot of tension. Exhale, let it go. Two more times. Inhale, your shoulders up. Exhale to release. One last one. Check it out. And we're going to come to seated. So take your time to come sit down. Take some water if you need. Bring this all of our feet together. Wrap the hands around the ankle. Sitting up nice and tall. Rocking side to side. Finding your sitting bones. Fly like a butterfly. Flap about 10 times. Opening up the hip joint. Draw the heel close to you, grab a hold of the big toes. Inhale to lengthen. Exhale, hinging forward, kneading with the chest. Bring the elbows on the outside of the shin. Inhale to lengthen. Exhale, stomach come down a little bit more. Neck is long, spine is straight. Chin is away from the body. Slowly, slowly come back up. And we're going to windshield wiper. This is hip width. Hands behind you, finger facing the same way as your feet. And we're going to drop the knees from one side to the other side. Hip release. Let it fall wherever it fall. Hips can come off. Knees don't necessarily have to touch them. And we're going to open up and drop both knees to the right side. Forming a 90, 90 degree, make sure the butt stay down. If you're not able to get the, your butt to sink down, you can put a towel underneath for support. The stretch is here, watches up hip joints, looking at the opposite side. One more breath here, and we're going to slowly release. And we're going to wait for a few more times. When you're ready, we're going to drop both knees to the other side. Forming a 90, 90 degree, you can adjust the angle to suit your knees. Make sure the butt stay down. Feel free to put a, a towel underneath the butt for support if you're not able to send it down. The stretch is here, put your sub hip joint, look at the opposite side. A little bit of discomfort, and we're going to stay here for three, 
two. One slowly, slowly come back to center. Straighten down the legs. Bounce a few times. Get the flesh apart out from your butt. Point your toes up to the ceiling. We're in the staff pose. Shoulders relax down from the knees. Chin is away from the body. Eyes looking forward. Inhale your arms up to lengthen. Exhale, we hinge forward. Grow longer. Body is directly on top of straight leg. Inhale, lengthen. Exhale, stomach so come down a little bit more. Leg is long, spine is straight. Slowly, slowly rise up, coming into one leg forward then. My left is your right, point your toes up to the ceiling. Inhale your arms up to lengthen. Exhale, hitch. Grow longer. Body is directly on top of the straight leg. Pretty soon your hands will be beyond your foot. Holding on to any part of the foot, the legs will release the hands on either side. Chin is away from the body, eyes looking forward. Neck is long, spine is straight. Slowly, slowly rise up, and we will come to see the twist. Bring the bend leg on the outside of the straight leg. Those who can bend the bottom leg, go ahead. Opposite arm, opposite. Draw it close to the body. The other arm up and over. Bring it directly behind your spine. Keep turning, overlooking your shoulder. Look here at the back, turning the neck as well. Front arm can be soft sign hand, prayer hands. Any variation you like to challenge yourself. Keep turning, overlooking your shoulder, looking at the back. We're gonna stay here for three. Two, one, slowly bring the body to the other side. Count to twist, bow down. Bending the elbows, more room to come down as we stretch our lower back and open the side of the body. And we're going to slowly, slowly curve back up, straighten out the legs, bounce it a few times. Repeat one leg forward bend on the other side. Point the toes up to the ceiling. Inhale your arms up to lengthen. Exhale, hinge forward. Roll longer. Body start right there on top of the straight leg. Holding on to any part of the foot, the legs, or release the hands on either side. Chin is away from the body, eyes looking forward. Not rounding the back or dropping the head. Entire unit has to come down, so it's going to come down first. Chest, head is the last thing. Lengthening the spine, stretching our lower back muscles, stretching our hamstring, opening up hip joint. Now we slowly, slowly rise up and come into a seated twist. Bring the band leg on the outside straight leg. Opposite arm, opposite knee, draw it close to you. The other arm up and over, bring it directly behind your spine or wrapped around your waist. Keep turning, overlooking your shoulder, looking at the back, turning the neck as well. Move every exhale breath, see if you can turn a little bit more. Stretching our lower back muscles, massaging internal organs, helping you to digest and detox. One more breath here, and we're gonna slowly bring the body to the opposite side. Bow down, counter twist. Bending the elbows, more room to come down as we stretch our lower back and oblique the side of our body. Slowly, slowly pushing ourselves back up. Straighten out the legs, bounce a few times. So we're coming back to a comfortable seated position, sitting up nice and tall. 
Bring your hands to heart center. Thank you very much for joining me, sharing the joy of yoga together, and letting me guide you through this practice. Always my pleasure. Namaste.